Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolution.com with my business partner Tricon Technologies Group. As part of implementing enterprise planning and budgeting cloud service for workforce module, there is a need to modify employee performance matrix. So employee performance is captured maybe once in a year or once in a quarter based on employee activities organization evaluate employee performance so many of time we need to customize the existing values of EPBCS existing performance matrix so as always we start with login to our cloud instance and you see the workforce card already exists because in my previous session I shown you how to configure workforce planning and my requirement is which is I received from my HR department employee organization employee performance are being evaluated based on three parameters below expectation meet expectation and exceed expectation I need to make sure these three parameters are part of my employee performance matrix so I go to my application workforce planning configuration and there I select workforce planning and you see we have different configuration parameter there is an option called employee performance performance matrix you select this and the set of values are already given if you need something extra likewise in our case we need a member called below expectations which is nothing than far to meet expectation fail to meet expectation you can click on add and type below expectation define time balance property data storage and data type so data type I'll make it as percent and data storage property continue to be stored once it is done you are going to save it and then I'm going to add a value to these parameters the next step is to input the values for matrix rates so how do you interpret fail to meet expectation or need improvement and so on so there are certain values already set over here based on this value the business logic is returned so you see fail to meet expectation is considered to be if employee achieves zero percent need improvement when it is two percent meet expectation four percent six percent and ten percent respectively so user can input these values and these parameters are given for year over year so it might possible for one year to another year values are different so merit rate to define this value this is the next step and the last step you make sure the value you input appears in an employee property so there's an employee property configuration tab we would like to evaluate employee performance based on employee performance matrix so these are different properties they already exist and there's one more property called performance matrix it is already there if it doesn't appear you have option to add from here add action so as you add member behind the screen system creates smart list performance smart list and this performance smart list is associated with associated with employee property data form and based on user input the salary calculation take place so you see there's a performance smart list and all the values you have given during your performance matrix are available over here right fail to meet expectation and all and there is certain in the account dimension there are member for performance matrix that also you can see over here limit to workforce planning and you can filter it on performance and there's a performance pre-built member called OWP performance workforce planning performance in addition to this there's one more parameter called merit where the value goes O 
OW P recommendation performance. So recommended performance, the value, the logic which I shown over here is applicable to the same. The last step, once these values are given for individual employee, we set the performance. So you can go to data form of individual employee for employee properties under workforce planning compensation and there's an option called employee properties and you can under point of view you can select a specific employee and the job title and the project the employee map to so my employee map to sales operation analytics um, star crop and I already input this value in case you like to change this value you can change from here performance value this is a smart list which I shown you just before map to this data form employee property data form so based on your project requirement you can add or remove more employee performance values from this and these values are defined month over month the most granular parameters month However, manage month can be defined for individual quarter for an entire year. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching today's video. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to BISP Solution or our business partner, Tricon Technology Group. Thank you.